hello everyone welcome to abner's kitchen in this video we'll be making some oven baked chips so for this video i'm using 250 grams of flour that's one and a half cup i'll add in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder A pinch of nutmeg as well and then we will set aside we all know that for our Ghanaian style chips you need some onion and garlic so I've got here a piece of onion and three cloves of garlic you can use less garlic if you don't want it too much I've added in just a little bit of water to blend. I'm adding my salt. You could use from one quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon. All my chips recipe, I like to add in a little bit of sugar so you wouldn't taste the sweetness and it wouldn't be salty either. It gives it some nice flavor. Bee. For 250 grams of flour, I'll be using 125 grams of margarine. I didn't uh, weigh it because I was a bit lazy that day. I just eyeballed it. It is a 2 is to 1 ratio. So 2 parts of flour and 1 part of margarine. You can't use this same recipe for the fried ones or else it will soak a lot of oil. We use less margarine for the fried ones. So I used about 4 tablespoons of margarine. I'm going to gently rub the margarine in just to let you know that you can use this same recipe for your meat pies it's very similar to a pie crust you are going to add in our blended onion garlic salt and sugar mixture I didn't add in any more water so that's the only liquid used for this recipe. This is because we want the chips to be nice and flaky. Like if I said it will come come and air very soft. I'm going to gently mold it into a ball. To cut my chips, I've got this cutter called the Crinkle Cutter. So I got this years back on eBay. Or I could also use my mandolin slicer as well because it's got this tip at the bottom of it that I can also use to cut my chips. Check your slices, you could have that as well. I flat my surface. We are going to roll out our crust. I think this is called a short crust. I'm not sure. So the professional bakers kindly let us know in the comment section if it's correct or not. As you can see, I'm not putting too much force into rolling the crust. This is because we want it to be flaky. So we don't want to activate the gluten in the flour. I'm just shaping the chips using the cutter. So you can 
cut them into any sizes that you want either very slim very thin or a bit larger than i'm doing If you don't have any of these cutters, you can use your knife or your scissors. They will equally do the job for you, just that you wouldn't get that logoleggy edges. I've lined my oven tray with some baking paper and I'm going to bake them at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes. I always say approximately because it all depends on your oven. Some of the ovens are very powerful and others are like mine. So you start checking after 10 minutes and see where you are. If it's done, it will be crunchy all through. So here we go, our chips is all done. Let's do the test. It's nice and crunchy. These are the ones I use the scissors and the knife to cut. They don't look bad. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly support this channel by liking, commenting and sharing the video and subscribing if you haven't. See you on my next one. Bye.